If you haven't watched Long Division Using Repeated Subtraction Part 1, I recommend that you do because I'll do a lot more explaining of the process in that video. This one is just here to show you that you don't always have to find the closest um, multiple of the number you're dividing into, the dividend here, and you can still get the right answer. It means more subtracting steps, but there's less pressure in always having to find the right answer and having the mistake of having uh, your answer down here be too big. Anyway, you'll see as we go along. It's a little easier in that way. So first of all, again, we're going to think, can 4 go into 3? No, it cannot. So now we have to think, what is a multiple of 4 that is less than or equal to 34? Well, 20 is a multiple of 4, and it's less than 34. So let's go ahead and write 20 up here. Now think 4 times what is 20? And the reason I like this method is, this is a multiple that some students might recognize more than other multiples, because their 5s are memorized pretty easily. And they'll think, hmm, I know that 4 times 5 is 20, and that's less than 34. I'm going to go ahead and use that one, because I'm comfortable with it. Nothing wrong with that, as you'll see. So 5, as I just said, is um, the other number, the answer. So we're going to write 5 in our answer box over here. And just like before, because there's three digits here, and there's only two digits, which is in 20, we're going to add another 0 here, which means we have to add a 0 to the 5 we wrote up on top. Because it's really 4 times 50 is 200. We'll subtract 200 from 38 and get 148 as the difference. No problem there. So again, we're going to think, what is a multiple of 4 that is less than or equal to 14 this time? Just treat it as two digits, ignore the 8. Well, 4 goes into 4. 12 is a multiple of 4, and it's less than 14. So we'll put 12 down here. 4 times what number is 12? That's a pretty easy one, 4 times 3. So we're going to add 3 in our answer box. And because this was still a three-digit number, this needs to be a three-digit answer, so I'm going to have to add a zero here and add a zero to the three I wrote up there, keeping them lined up like we did before. Subtract 120 from one, and you get 28 as your difference. Recognize this from last time? Remember last time we did 80 because 50 plus 30 is 80? No problem here. Now we have to think, what is a multiple of 4 that is less than or equal to 28? And you know what? If they come up with 20 again, it would still work. They could write 20 and 5. Um, but for simplicity, I'm going to pretend that we'll find the right answer, which is 28. 28 is multiple. 4 times what is 4 times 7? No 0 here, so I'm not going to add. No digit here, so I'm not going to add a 0. No 0 to add there. Make sure you line up your 7. Subtract 28 from 28. i got nothing left. Add up the numbers in the box. This time there's three of them. And you get 87. That's because just like last time, the quotient of 348 divided by 4 is 87. Difference is, last time they realized that 50 and 30 equals 8. That gave them the uh, 320. This time they got 200 and 120. Not a problem. You're always going to get the right answer either way.